Greetings all. I wanted to show you a little project that I completed here recently. On my trip to Florida I wanted a cooler of some kind and not have to buy ice all the time. So this Igloo thermoelectric cooler, uh, this is a 26 quart model, uh, seemed like the thing to get. The only problem with it is uh, well, there may be a few problems, but the big problem is that this thing doesn't have a thermostat built into it. So when you plug it in, it just runs all the time and draws power. Um, so I started doing some research for some way to put a thermostat on this thing. And I ran across this little doohickey from Amazon. It's really tiny, and I will put the link down in the comment section below, or in the description below. Uh, but essentially what this is, is a thermometer that um, opens and shuts a relay based on the temperatures that you uh, have preset. Now, this thing comes from China. The directions are in Chinese, so it's a little difficult to hook this thing up if you don't know what you're doing. I've watched some videos. They were pretty good at explaining things but I wanted to give you a really dumbed down version of how to make something like this. So first of all, with the cooler, you have to figure out your polarity. So which is positive, which is negative of the electrical line. And that wasn't easy. I'm gonna pull this out and show you something. Now if you can see this, that side has an H with the red dot. The other side has C with a blue dot. Now, I took that to possibly mean that the red is positive and the blue is negative, but I wasn't sure. So I went online, looked up some things about how to identify the cord. This left side of the cord is ribbed, probably can't see that, and the right side has writing on it. So there are different sites that tell you different things about what writing on one side and ribbed on one side means. Um, it wasn't clear at all so essentially I just ended up uh, testing the wire with a 12 volt light and figured out which side was positive and which side was negative so after that it was figured out I had to figure out how to hook this thing up if you can see here there are your electrical connections KO or K0 and K1, that's essentially your, your relay. That's where your power gets turned on and off based on your temperature. The next one over plus 12V is your 12 volt in or your positive line in, and the next one is your ground. So this is what happens. Again, I'm not an electrician, so I'm dumbing this down for myself and anybody else there who might appreciate it. So your, your power comes in here to your 12 volt. And you have to get that power over to K1. There are different ways to do it, but a lot of people just used kind of a jumper cable right here, where you put one side into the 12 volt and you put the other side into K1. I suppose you can splice your incoming power uh, and put two different wires, one into your 12 volt there and one into K1, whatever whatever seemed to uh, work well for you. But I just put this little jumper cable right here. So what happens is, is the power comes in into your line and comes in here to K1 and this will remain off until the temperature parameters um, are set and the temperature inside gets too hot or too cold. This this thing actually works for hot or cold depending on what you want to do. I saw one guy made a video he had uh, an incubator set up with it. So what I've got mine set is, uh, it's a little hard to see right now, um, but I've got mine set for 35 I want to, I want to maintain it about 35 degrees um, if you look up the FDA recommendations for refrigeration, they say less than 40 degrees. So that's what I've chosen. But this thing is all in Celsius. So for us Americans who haven't been schooled well in uh, 
in the metric system, I had to go online and do the conversion. So this is what I came up with. Not sure how well you can see that, but 35 degrees equals 1.7 degrees Celsius. 37 degrees is 2.7 and 38 degrees is 3.3 Celsius. So what I decided to do is set my parameters for uh, 35 degrees is the target and uh, 37 is the upper limit. So essentially when this thing reaches 2.7 degrees Celsius it kicks on and it runs until the inside is down to 1.7. And you measure that with a thermometer right here. It, essentially it's a temperature probe but I'll show you. It's a thermometer that goes in right there. So there are many different ways to do this I'm sure but the way I decided to do this is to put some contact points right here. Um, so my positive comes into this screw and that's my positive line in positive right here to that now, like I told you before, if you wanted to do this jumper, instead of making a jumper, if you wanted to connect that directly to the positive, you can certainly do that. Now, for my ground, I've got ground coming from here and into here into a common ground, which goes back into the power line. But here, I've also got this grounded here. And that's perfectly safe. It's, it's acceptable. Now, I'll put the link to um, this product from Amazon, and in the, in the uh, product description, there's a pretty good uh, description about how to set this thing. But you set it with these buttons right here, and there are also different uh, parameters that you can set, uh, but for most of us, really, we just want to set a target temperature, uh, whether or not we are controlling for hot or cold, and what sort of temperature swing we're willing to uh, tolerate. And I'm going with a one degree Celsius temperature swing. I'm trying to always keep this below uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I've had it off for a while, so that's why I've, this thing is still not in my target range. But I've got a nice pack in there, so it should be okay. So if you have any questions, leave a comment uh, or send me a message, thedriftinglens at gmail.com. Good luck and uh, happy vanning.